Welcome back to Grand Forks Place KSP and we are right back where we left off which means we have some sweet sweet science to spend 67.7 to be exact which would give us one of these nodes rocketry general construction useful aviation that would be fun with planes why not flight control that would give us some control and then we have basic science however ooh, pro body batteries science oh i'm definitely gonna take these ones all right well what am i thinking about of course i'm gonna take that one well that's it committed right which means this episode we're gonna have some fun with probes all right let's dunk right into the vehicle assembly building and this is our bottle rocket thank you you're going the way of the dodo probodobodine sputnik and since a couple of updates ago it's all shiny like a new coin Then we can put the modular girder segment or oh, no wait, wait wait i have better one utility science yes experiment storage unit that's the best thing to put it on yes then we're gonna put two mystery goo experiments all right then we're gonna be putting two thermometers followed by two barometers and a materials bay at the bottom of course then I want to put a fuel tank this is the only one that I have or the biggest one that I have followed by an engine come on payload oh that will make things cool Hmm. Decoupler, yes. It would be useful that these decouple. Oh, actually, I'm going to move this here. Rather. Yes. So that I could attach parachutes. Because I've noticed that this probe doesn't have is what how to go down. So, yes, parachutes engines i like a swivel please i mean the reliant has a little bit more thrust but the swivel has more panache so uh, i think maybe two tanks would make it even sweeter now let's see a swivel at the bottom 1481 meters per second good as long as we place some fins four to be exact utility science communitron i want to put the antenna because obviously probes need remote guidance i just want to make it so nice that it returns somehow come on not like that not like that something like that all right well, then i want to be placing hmm, what's the delta v on this one thrust to weight ratio 3.73 okay let's do it like this then i want to be putting another decoupler below this yes fair enough come on now let's see fuel tank a bunch of more fuel tanks why not let's raise this up a little bit shall we and another fuel tank And two more. That should be plenty, right? 
or maybe two more. Swivel. Let's see how the thrust will be on this one though. Put some fins. Once again, four of them. There we go. Perfect. So what's your thrust to weight ratio? 1.31, so it would still go up. Interesting. But I consider uh, 1.44, that's better. I think 1.3 is not really worthwhile, so I, I, I aim for my thrust away to be around 1.8, but uh, you'll do for now. Alright. SAS on? Well, oh, no SAS. Oh, this will be fun. Well, let's launch anyway. So I can tilt it and let's hope it shall be maintaining its heading. Seems to be flying stable anyway. Yep, stable trajectory so far. Needing to just pitch it a little bit sometimes, but so far seems to be going good. Acceleration seems pretty good. Oh, need to pitch it up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. no, 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 no. Wrong direction. Come on. Fix it. Fix it. Why are you flobbing so much? Maintain the course I set you, please. Thank you. Now, detach. And why are you doing the flippity flip flip? And going in an entirely different direction. Come on, spin. Rocket engine, yes. Spin, not too much spin. That's too much spin. Oh. No operational SAS modules, I got it. I cannot engage SAS, yes. Let's just do the science. Thank you, keep the experiment while I'm up. Decouple this guy, you're useless anyway. Pop the shoots while we are high up. Let's see if we can at least get some science done. Temperature. Mr. Igu. Thank you. The jiggle jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. I'm sure we've heard that before. How about the barometric pressure? Uh, not the container yet, but log pressure data. Oh, we already had that. Well, that's a shame. Collect all in the container. Thank you. And there's nothing to do while it wait as it comes down. Down, down, down it goes with the help of a little bit time acceleration, of course. Then, of course, the chutes open. Well, log the pressure data, that didn't help. Temperature, flying over Kerbin's water, yeah, well that helped, hopefully. Let's time accelerate until it gets in the water itself. Might as well spare you and just cut it out. Oh, 
Okay, we are down to the last 70 meters and the probe is coming in for a nice uh, gentle splashdown. Kaplunk and recover. Wonderful, 28.5 science gain for a grand total of 51, which gives us another node in the research. Advanced rocketry, general construction, aviation, or the flight control. I think I'm gonna go for the flight control because of the fins. As you saw, our rockets were going flippity flip flip. So I do want some fins and of course the uh, gyro unit 0 0.625 size which would eventually improve our chances of having a stable probe-based flight. So, let's make adjustments, shall we? Now, first thing first, I want a small inline reaction wheel. Yes, thank you. You shall be able to control that probe all right and when it comes to communication we have you which is enough might as well place you on the top at least one come on somewhere around here and i'm gonna custom group it so when i press one you're gonna toggle the antenna i doubt that was the problem so, however, these fins definitely are, and these fins definitely are. That being said, let's put the winglets, because the fins were just stabilizers, so they couldn't move. This winglets can, which should ultimately give us a lot more control over the stability of the entire flight save so i'm relying for the upper stage i'm relying on the reaction wheels and on the bottom stage i'm hoping for and i had a crash down which means i will be repeating that section a little bit sorry about that guys so once again bottle rocket yes like i said top stage I will be relying on reaction wheels and on the bottom stage I will be more relying on fins now we should remove these hopefully you I'm gonna give only small fins because you shouldn't have too many problems hopefully at least and you should be taking the good ones the winglets yes that should give you a more control authority. So 1.42, 3.78, I'd say that's good enough. Shall we do that? Oh, right, I have almost forgot. I want the communication. And actually I'm gonna place it here rather just no symmetry just nice placement and i'm gonna place oh batteries right because if the battery charge runs out that pretty much means we are well in pro in trouble let's just say in trouble yes so we put two battery packs that could have also been the reason why we lost control However, those have alternators, so I'm not 100% sure. I mean, at least the engines have alternators. Okay, toggling, saving. Am I ready to launch? I like to think so, yes. Launch. All right, time for the next attempt. I don't have SAS. Once again, have to rem keep reminding myself. It's a default. I just press D, you know, and I'm happy to go. All right, three, two, one, let's kick it. Rocket slowly takes off. Okay, 
Okay, give it a slight tilt. Well, seems semi-stable, but the last one also seemed semi-stable, so it basically indicates nothing. Uh, still needs corrections, but at least it's responsive, so that's good. I mean, the last one was responsive as well. However, let's keep the apoapsis, and the apoapsis is rising, which is kind of good. Our liquid fuel is good enough. Let's put them in the same stage. So when I fire up the decoupler, so that does the engine get lit. And hit it. Alright, seems more stay. Oh, whoa, spoke too soon. And again, it does the flippity flip flip. This time at altitude of 23, 24, at an altitude of 32 kilometers, which will be its apoapsis. Dang it, come on, stabilize, stop flipping. You know, you would say, can you just flip and stop doing that? But clearly it doesn't want to answer to me. I try to just kick it, but it keeps on spinning more and more happily. Okay, oh, wait, 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 we might have a control back. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have our control back. Ooh, you don't say. Come on, stop wobbling. This is truly Kerbal. Oh, and it might go even to space. Woohoo! Now look at that. An apoapsis of 100. Oh, I feel the pride already. Well, extend the communitron. Thank you. And as soon as we hit that mark, we're going to do some science. Now, Mr. Igu. Thank you. Uh, let's... Uh, Keep the experiment. Low pressure data, high atmosphere, yes. Or high altitude. And ladies and gentlemen, we are officially out in space. We're not in orbit, not by a long shot, because we're gonna fall down like a brick, all right? However, we might use this brief opportunity to suck all the sweet, sweet science that we possibly can. A materials bay, thank you. Great. Log the temperature. Space near Kerbin. And we're still going up. Ain't that wonderful? Now. All right, that puts us a little bit in the precarious situation because I'm a little worried if this is going to survive. Log the pressure data, keep the experiment, yes. Now, I'm really hoping that this data makes it back because we're about to hit our apoapsis. Let's decouple this. And I wonder how efficient of a shield this uh, materials bay material bay is going to be hitting the apoapsis in three or eight seven six five four three two one all right and time to go down All right, we have transferred all the data into the container. I'm going to try just to squeeze every little ounce of the data going down. Just to be on the safe side, if some part doesn't survive, maybe the other part will. Okay, time to accel time accelerate a little bit on the way down. 
Oh, there's a texture fold at Kerbin, apparently. Hmm, interesting. Well, we are definitely falling through the atmosphere. 900 meters per second, 1000 meters per second. I'm trying to keep it pointed retrograde and hoping that the material base takes the blunt of the force coming in. I mean, it will be hitting the atmosphere hard. The question is if it will survive. That's another question, but we'll see. Antenna broken by arrow forces and crap. Okay, okay, we can do this. Come on, we can do this. Don't you be spinning and don't go head down, please. No head down. Materials bay down first. Come on, okay. It's decelerating, so it might survive. All right, just drop below 300 meters per second and I'm popping the chutes. Yeah, perfect. I can be popping the chutes. Let it just fall a little bit further. I mean, the air or the thickness of the air is stopping it, so we can now even have control. Perfect. Going surface retrograde. And pop the chutes just to be on the safe side and monitor how it will be going down. At 9,000 meters. Seems like the entirety of our experiments will survive, which is great. I'm not gonna be, you know, praising or singing laurels just yet. I want it first to come down in an organized and meaningful way. So, I also might cut it out until the final drop. And we are down to the very last 100 meters after which we will be wrapping it up for this episode as soon as we recover the craft. I'm going to try to keep these guys out of the 25 up to 30 minute mark so hope you're going to like them. And successful landing recovering the vessel and perfect 82.8 science earned well that's it guys thank you very much for watching like if you like and i'll see you all in the next one this is groundworks signing off